Good morning, guys. Ooh, so many people. Hello. Miss Fortune. Yes. Hi, have, everyone. I only have six more Marvel movies left. <gasps> You've watched, what, did you say there were 16 of them? There were a bunch, and I only have There were six 12, left. so you're halfway through. Yeah. Awesome. Good for you. I have watched zero more Marvel movies since we last talked. <laughs> Way ahead of me. I just watched Ant-Man. Oh, that that's is good awesome. One. That is a good one. Good one. Scout has been re-watching all of the Disney movies. Oh, oh wow. That's the a last, lot of movies. Yeah. So yesterday, I think she watched Sleeping Beauty, and then she watched The Princess and the Frog. There's 23. Any more black glue? 23 Marvel movies or Disney movies? Blue? 23 Marvel movies. Whew, that's a lot of movies. There's yeah. like way more 23 Disney movies. movies. Yeah. So uh, we are going to do all of them. Um, um, a thousand and twenty things. Um, go to Disney um, Plus and see all of them. The Guys, there's Star Wars. Wars. Anyone? Just rise up. Hey, we didn't watch any Star Wars Anno. movies last David night. David and Scanos. Everyone's so loud. Because I can't hear anything. Adam. There's Disney, the, I mean, on Disney Plus, there's The Rise of Skywalker. I some of Hi, Axel. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. uh, you see Wait, is that Disney Plus now? Okay. Yeah. Star Wars is on Disney Plus. Have you guys seen The Mandalorian? Disney Plus came out. Oh, yeah, out. I've seen the whole season. It's good. Remember okay. Baby Yoga? Guys, are you going to be Yoga? Yoga? Yoda! Yoda! I said Yoda. Plus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking hey, attendance look, quick, and then we'll get started. Don't watch all the Disney movies. Go to Disney Plus and watch every single movie. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, well, Disney Plus has more than just Disney oh. movies. So you'd be yeah, watching it has more than all the Disney It has National, National Geographic. Hi, Sam, again. <laughs> again. Wait, Sam, um, <laughs> Your brother's playing Minecraft. Yeah. I know. I know. Can I tell you? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. I've got almost everyone it's here. Who am I missing? Okay. Let me call out the names I've recorded and you tell me who's missing. Okay. Um, I've got Joey, Adamana, Andres, Miles, Sam, Nora, Brayden, Faith, Alina, Danny, Owen, Ada, Rashawn, Sasha, and Addie. Who am I missing? Me, Adam. Axel, I just said hello to you even, and I forgot to write you down. Okay, who else am I missing? Because I think, oh no, I'm number 17. Okay. <laughs> my numbers are not you, you missing, you missing Sasha. I think I said That's Sasha, Sasha, didn't I? I yeah, I think I did. Okay, I think I got everybody then, and we'll see if we get a couple more after a few more minutes. All right, as you can see, hello. Um, Hi. Oh, looks fun. I have, let me, I can switch my camera here so you can see me. I need pencil. Hello. Hello. Okay. I need paper. Thanks for getting up and being ready for a lesson this morning. Um, Oh, for, so, for some reason, Google. For some reason, Google Classroom. I didn't realize you asked me to get paper. For some reason, Google Classroom was um one day behind for me. One day behind. I don't it was, know. What that it means. said it was May third. It said it was May third instead of May fourth. I mean, fifth. That's, that's weird. Okay, that could have been a mistake. I'll go back and look at it. Um. So we left off with the, um, here. Now, my beads today did not want to stay on the paper at all, especially these tents. Tents, come back. But you remember this layout. I remember. 
Yes. Um, and so I know that this was a long lesson. It took a while to get through. So I'm just going to run through it very quickly so it's fresh in your mind. We have our unit here at the center. If we take our unit 10 times, we get tens. If we take our unit and divide it into 10 equal parts, we get 10. Yes. If I take my unit 100 times, I get 100. But if I take my unit and divide it by 100 equal parts, I will get 100. If I take my unit a thousand times, I get thousands. If I take my unit and divide it into a thousand equal pieces, I will get a thousand. Good. If I take my unit 10,000 times, I get 10,000. If I take my unit and divide it using that imagination of yours into 10,000 equal pieces, I will get 10 thousandths. If I take my unit and Take it 100,000 times, I will get 100,000. But if I take it and divide it into 100,000 equal parts, I will get 100,000. Miss Fortune? Yes. I can't see the millions. Um, yeah, they're, they're there. It's they're in the frame. I'm not sure why you can't see them. Maybe, maybe you need to make your screen a little smaller. Um, if I take my unit one million times, I get millions. And if I take my unit and divide it into one million equal parts, I get millions. Okay, so that's where we left off. And I wanted to show this, and I, I am not sure how well you're going to be able to see this. Um, and so I think I'm going to just hold it up here so you can see that unit in the center. Okay. And this is showing you the fraction equivalents to these decimal numbers. So we have tens and we have tenths. Can you see that well enough? Yeah. Okay. We have hundreds and hundreds. hundreds. We have thousands, sorry, and thousands. thousands. We have ten, ten thousands and ten thousands. We have hundred thousands and hundred thousands. We have millions and millions. millions. Okay, so um, I want to go swiftly here. I hope that everybody is with me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to very swiftly clean this up and move us on to our decimal board, which is yeah. new for, I think, and the reason why this lesson seemed like a good one for us to do over the computer is because it is a material that you usually don't stay using the material for very long. Um, usually people are able to quickly move into doing this on paper. And so for those of you that are interested in doing that, I hope we'll be able to get you there. Okay. So, um, I got out my, uh, the lower L division board for this, and you can see it's quite old. And um, these colors, I can't get it to where I can show you. These colors are not very bright anymore. So I don't know if you can see that the colors are darker over here and lighter over here. Are you guys able to see that okay? Yes. Okay, because yes. this is the one we use in the lower L, but I also went and got the one from the upper L, which is a brand new one. Can oh. you see the colors on that better? Yeah. yeah. Or do you prefer yeah. this one? Um, the, the upper L one. Upper L, okay, upper so we'll one. use this one. And then that just showed me what I need to be working on is making us a new de decimal board for, um, did I say division board before? Decimal board. Um, I need to almost. make us a new one. I need to drink more coffee too. 
Okay. This is for two. Could you spotlight yes. yourself? So, what was that, Adam? Could you spotlight yourself? Because it keeps, my big screen keeps changing. Yes, I can do that. There we go. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. So, you can see that right here in our, uh, our decimal board, we have our unit, and it is circled. Because we want to really think of everything. Remember that pinwheel that we had? Yeah. Maybe some of you made your own pinwheel. Um, everything revolves around the unit. And the unit is kind of like the king or the queen of the decimal system. So I actually have a little crown. And the crown is going to go right on that unit to remind us that that is the center of the decimal system. And all of the numbers we're dealing with now are going to rotate around it, which is a very different way of thinking about it than before. Before, with all your work with math, the unit has been the smallest category, but it now, isn't anymore. Now we're working with all the categories smaller than a unit. We want to remember that the unit is at the center, okay? And um, here I have my unit. Feed. Can you move it, everybody? Yeah, here we go. Okay. So here I have my unit bead. I'm going to plop that right in the center there of my crown. Miles? And if I take that unit 10 times, what will I get? So here's my 10 bead. But if I take that unit and divide it into 10 equal parts, I'm going to get tenths. So here's one of those little discs. If I take that 100, or excuse me, if I take that unit 100 times, I will get ah, hundreds. And if I take that unit and divide it into 100 equal parts, I will get hundreds. If I take that unit 1,000 times, I will get thousands. But if I take that unit and divide it into 1,000 equal parts, I will get thousands. If I take that unit and take it 10,000 times, I will get 10,000. And if I take my unit and divide it into 10,000 equal parts, I will get 10,000. If I take that unit 100,000 times, I will get 100,000. And if I take that unit and divide it into 1,000 equal parts, I will get, you can barely see that it's against my color. hand here, <laughs> um, 100,000. And if I take my unit a million times, I get millions. And if I take it and divide it into a million equal parts, I will get millions. And so can you see the colors get darker, darker? with the yeah. higher lighter. categories and lighter, and lighter with the lower no. categories, the categories below the unit? Everybody with me? Yes. Great. Yes. OK, yeah. I'm just going to slide through your pictures real quick. Can you raise your hand if you have a question? Danny. Um, what, what if you, if you don't have anything to um, um, do, like, like, describe the unit, like a crown, let's say, um, can you just draw a crown and put it yes. inside? Yes, I'm going to um, give you a printable decimal board, but you could easily draw this decimal board on a piece of paper. And um, yes, you'll come up with something at home to represent your crown. It can be anything. It does not even have to be a crown. It just has to remind you that the unit is in the middle. Okay, it could be um, a, a game piece, a button, like we use in the stamp game, 
It could be an M&M. I don't know, whatever you want to use, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And you use no, no. This is I for two. Donut. Yes. Is the, you um, can use honey on, nuts. is the printable board already on Google Press? Right? I believe it is there, but I'm going to double check yeah. it today. Yeah, 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 it is I just there. Thought, okay. I thought. I All right. It is going to be frustrating to, to um, print if you don't have color. If you don't have a color printer, then I recommend definitely just making your own. It would not take you long to make this with a ruler. Okay? And that actually would be a good practice for you. All right, so we're gonna make some numbers on this decimal board. Um, so think back to that very first lesson we ever did with the checkerboard. It's very similar, okay? I would like, I'm gonna scoot these off. I'm gonna keep my don't, don't get rid of the pan. Okay, I would like to make uh whoops. One, two, three. I have three in the tenth place. So I am going to make that number. Oh, and by the way, just last night I found a, a set of these printable cards. I haven't put them up yet, but I will put them up today. So if you want to print out the decimal board and print the cards, you can. You just have to come up with the guys. Okay, so this is how I would record three in the tenth place. I have a zero in my unit because I have nothing in my unit place. And I have a three in the tenth place. So that says three tenths. Um, what about now? Four hundred. Yeah, I have four hundreds, and this is how I would record that. So because I have a zero in the unit, a zero in the tens, and a four in the hundreds place. So I have four hundreds. Don't forget the decimal point. Now, what if I had both at the same time? Thirty-four tenths. Well, 30. here I have three tenths, right? You just use both of them. And four. here I have four hundreds. Thirty-four. And I can do that. You guys remember the magic slide, right? Mm -hmm. I can put them together, and what I would it? have. 34 tenths. You're Three almost units. there, Miles. I can hear it. 34 hundredths. 34 hundredths. Okay? Can you repeat that? I couldn't yeah, really hear. Here, let me mute it. 4300. I'm going to mute you for a second. Okay. So here in my tenths place, I have three, three. tenths. So I'm going to set that here. Here in my hundredths place, I have four hundredths. So I put them together and I have thirty four four hundredths. Okay. What's okay, Andres, did you have a question? Decimal board doesn't go to the de this piece or decimal board. It doesn't really go all the way to to the millions. Yeah, it's not quite as big as the one we have at at school. That's true. Okay, that's true. But if you want, if you want it to be bigger, you can make another one of your own. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me do one more number. Let's put one more number together, and then we will. Um, we will uh, do a do an addition equation.
Okay, so now I have two in the thousands place. So I have two thousands. Now, if I put them all together, I have three in the tens. I have four in the hundredths place. And I have two in the thousandths place. place. And if I put them together, oops, sorry, I thought you could see that. Mm -hmm. better. Okay. And if I put them together, I have 342,000. <clears throat> okay. Any questions about putting these numbers together? Yes, Danny. Do Do you have any um like I, are you going to print out like the cards and and also the the discs things or the only thing i don't anything? have for you are yes. the discs and the and the beads you're going to have to come up with something for that okay. but you could use um if you have uh, a piece of scratch paper you could co color it like color a piece a square uh blue and then cut out little scraps from the blue or if you have a hole puncher i suppose you could punch out little discs you're going to have to get creative about that, okay? Mm -hmm. But I know you can. I, um, I went through my games in my game cupboard and I found lots of little things. Oh, you know what else you could, guys could use is Legos. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah. I you have Legos around. Yeah. Okay, would you like to see an addition equation? Yes. yes. Great. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll mute so you, everybody can hear me, and then I'll unmute for questions. All right, so let's say I have, let me start with five hundredths. One, two, three, four, five. And let me add to that six hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I want to do addition here. I want to put them together. So let me bring them together and then I can start counting. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is still the decimal system. So, what happens if I get ten of anything in the decimal system? You you trade it in for you one. Trade it in for, for ten. A ten. I trade ten. it in for whatever the next category up is, right? Yeah. yeah. And the next category up is ten. 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 Because it takes. 10 hundredths to make one tenth. So I'm going to trade these in for one tenth. Yeah, and then we have one more thousand. So we have so five hundredths plus six hundredths. And I bet you guys could do five 11. plus six in your heads, right? That was 11. Um, and what did we end up with? We ended up with 11 hundredths. Oh, well. One we ten. have a one in the tenths place. Eleven hundred. And 11 we have a one in the hundredths place. Eleven hundred. So that made eleven hundredths. Okay. Is everybody following? Yep. I'm following. Them. Yeah. Great. Yeah. This is for two. Yeah. When we um come back to school, will we be able to do all this work? Yes. Yes, you may need a little bit of a refresher. Yeah. Because 
um, viewing me do it is very different from you getting your hands on it and, and doing it. So what I will probably do is say to you guys, I know you had a lesson. Let me just sit with you for a minute and make sure it's all clear before you go off and do it on your own. But yes, you, I will consider that you've had a lesson on this. I'm marking all of these down in my record book. I'm just marking them in a special color to remind me that you had the lesson during the quarantine. Okay? But you're getting checked off for these. Don't you worry. Okay, shall we do another edition? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, some of you, I know, are already seeing how this might work on paper. So um, don't worry. I will show that to you before we leave today so that you can carry on doing that. Um, let's do... <sighs> Let's do one with a unit in it. It's fortune. Yeah. It's fortune. Yes. This Disney Plus. Uh, Alina. The decimal board. The oh, I the see. Why? Board. Why? Why? Um, they you posted. It's um. It on one side it goes all the way up to ten thousand, but on the other it only go. It goes up to to um. Oh dear. So yeah, it's not yeah. even. No, it's not. Even. Oh dear, I didn't look at that very carefully then, did I? Okay, I will check that. I will check that. Um, okay, so here I have. I have one unit and one tenth. Okay. And I want to add to that Sorry, I'm just trying to find my card here. I'm going to add two and three tenths to that. Got to find my units. Five tenths. So my second add end will be two and one, two, three tenths. I'm going to go ahead and mute you guys until it's time for questions. Okay. So again, this is addition. And with addition, we're putting together. So I'm going to slide all my categories together. This time I'm not going to have a trade in. How many units do I have all together? I hope you're saying three out there. Now, where did my three go? There it is. Okay, so I have three units. And how many tenths do I have? I have four. So... There's my, oops, <laughs> there's my four tenths, and I put them together, and I got three and four tenths. 34 tenths. Yes, you could say 34 tenths. That's not wrong, Miles. However, usually we don't, in, if, if, we're, if we're going on both sides of the decimal point, we'll say the unit by itself, three and... Four. four tenths, but mathematically, you're exactly right. It is 34 tenths, totally right. But we're gonna say three and four tenths. Because okay? there's a decimal point between them. Yeah, when, when there's a decimal point, we say and. Okay, any questions? I'm so bored. Any questions? No, I'm gonna finish the video though. I don't know, what I don't even understand, because like, last video, I didn't understand how they're moving on, so I have no idea. Danny? Um, everybody's having the uh, siren go off right now. So, <laughs> Okay, somebody out there is talking about having some difficulty. Who's talking about that? I'd love to help you. Anybody? It's Tuesday. I'm like, why do I use that? Just the siren bothering everybody? Okay. The siren. Okay. 
Byron's right outside my house, too. I never noticed how long that thing takes. All right, if you, um, I'll, I'm going to clear some space here for us to do an equation where we write on paper. It just gets louder and louder. It's it's I live right by we so I hear I'm I stopped. Yeah, it's going down lower and lower and lower. That's it's done now. Why okay. did um, why did I even do it? What are those for? What are the sirens? They the have to test the system. That would be the siren. That would they would use to let us know if there was a tornado or something, some reason that you needed to go home and take shelter. Well, they, um, they yeah. use that for emergencies, and then once a month, at the same time every month, they test, they test it. it to make sure it's working. So it's done now. Okay. So let's say I want to do another equation similar to the one I just did. Um. How about two and two tenths? So my decimal point is going to show me. I'm going to mute you guys. My decimal point is going to show me where my unit is. My unit now is to the left of my decimal point. So I know that I have two and two tenths. So let me make that on the board. There's two units and there's two tenths. And I want to add one and let's say six tenths. So that's what my multi my uh, addition equation would look like. And so let me put my one and one two. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. So we're still, remember how I always say start with your units? Well, now we're going to start with our lowest category, whatever the lowest category is. And actually, that's going to be tenths here. And in our tenths, we have two plus six. And if I put that together, what does that make? I hope you're all saying eight. Eight. Okay. And I have two plus one, and that makes three. Three. So I have three and eight tenths is my answer. So here you can see how you can write your equations. Um, you can get, you can make your own decimal board if you want that help. But if you're seeing how to do it without that, you are more than welcome to start doing this math without the decimal board. Okay, so we, unfortunately, we do not have a lot more time to go through subtraction and multiplication, but I will make videos for those so that you can watch them if those are things you're interested in. Okay. Yes, Adam. Sorry, Adam, go ahead. How, how, how would we do the trade-ins? Oh, let's do another one with the trade in real quick. So let's say I have um, one and eight tenths. <laughs> Plus, um, four times. Okay. So we always want to start with our lowest category, which is tenths. 
So we're going to put 8 plus 4 together. Okay, so let's see what happens on the board when we put 8 plus 4 together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What happens when I get 10? You trade. trade them in for a unit. I'm going to trade my 10 tenths in for one unit. Perfect. And how many tenths were left? Two. Two. I bring oh, down my decimal mommy. point to the same place. And now how many units do I have? Two. I now have two, two units. Okay. So eight plus four made 12. I record the two that are going to be left after I trade in. And the 10 tenths that I trade in gets added on to my units. So, so it's kind of like 18 plus 4 is 22, but... Um, yeah, it, with minus the decimal points, you see a pretty basic addition equation there, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so the, the process of dynamic addition is exactly the same. You just have to remember to bring down that decimal point to the right location, and you need some practice in in saying these words, one and eight tenths, four tenths, or zero and four tenths, um, two and two tenths. Okay. Okay? Thank you. All right. I promised you guys some videos later this week on subtraction and multiplication with this for those that are interested. If you're feeling like this is a good place for you to sit and practice, then that's fine. Uh, there is absolutely no rush for you to burn through these activities, okay? All right, and I know that I need to put some things up on the website, and I need to check, I need to check that decimal board that I gave you. Um, it sounds like it's not perfect. You know, there are Montessori teachers. Um, let me switch my video back. There are Montessori teachers all over the world who are making things and sharing things in order to make sure we all have what we need to do our work. Um, and sometimes I'm in a rush and I'm grabbing something because it looks good and I'm putting it up because I want, I want to put it in your hands. Um, but this sounds like one that I maybe should have looked at a little more closely before yeah. putting out. Yes, Rashawn. Um, I didn't see today's daily math. Is there a daily math? No, it, in the email, did you read the email I sent out? No. Oh, okay. Are you reading the email every morning? I'm not yet because um, I had breakfast and then went straight to this. Okay, so um, there, it, 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 today's email explained all of that. Um, okay. No, I did not put up daily math today. Okay. Is there daily math today? <laughs> it's all in the email. Um, there's your daily math came to you in the form of an email this morning. Okay, but there will be some tomorrow. Don't worry. Because I know you look forward to that. Okay. Okay. Good day. All right, guys. Any other questions about the lesson? No, not really. All right. Pretty oh, straightforward. One more, Danny. Go ahead. Um, if what if we don't have a color printer and we and we don't have the right colors to make to make the chart. You know what else I think, Danny? As long as I'm going back in there to um, fix or replace the one that I posted, I will go ahead and try to make a black and white version. Okay. That you could print the black and white lines and just color it in. So okay. why can't you, why can't you just color the um dots the colors that you need for the um? Yeah, that's a good point, Adam. If you printed it black in black and white, I think you'd be able to color over. The dots would print out kind of gray and you'd be able to color over them. So that's another option. But also making your own with a ruler would be an excellent activity for you today. So you could just look at the picture of it on the computer and make your own. Okay. All right, guys, I have to go to get ready for my next lesson. It was good to see all of you and I'll see you at Read Aloud. Bye. 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 Bye.